An 18 year old accused of making a sex video of himself and a 14 year old appears in court for the very first time. Investigators here say that Jeremiah Horton shared that video with other students from his phone and there could be more underage victims. Angela Ingram was in court today for Horton's arraignment. Jeremiah Horton walked before a judge looking like a child, but the 18 year old is in adult court facing up to eight years in prison. He has surrendered. He has uh, been interviewed with North College Hill Police regarding this incident. Police accuse Horton of recording and sharing video of himself having sex with a 14 year old without the girl knowing it. The incident happened just 21 days after his 18th birthday. He's a young kid who's scared. Uh, made a made in our opinion, um, if the facts are as true as set forth, uh, a terrible mistake of what I would say a youthful mistake, and we don't want this to be the end of his life. Horton pleaded not guilty to two counts of pandering sexually oriented material involving a minor. Police believe Horton shared the video from his cell phone with three of his classmates at North College Hill High School. We found obviously the the original video. Um, we found there's 21 other girls in his phone, either in pictures or videos and various levels of sexual activity with him um, that we have no idea who they are. In essence, Horton's actions may have derailed the course of his life if he's convicted. His lawyer says the 18 year old had never been in trouble before. He was involved in school. He was active in football, even at that small size. Now he's expelled and college options have been delayed at best. After the school district found out, the superintendent sent home a letter to parents so they can talk to their children about what happened. And this is this generation with all the phones and all the stuff. And you know, here you go, it's the old saying, if you put it out there, it's out there. It never goes away. He manned up, walked in here today and faced the music and he's ready to, to have his day in court. The judge gave Horton a $25,000 bond and also ordered him to wear an electronic monitoring unit. He also told the 18 year old he can have no contact with the witnesses in the case or the alleged victims. At the Hamilton County Justice Center, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News. Angela, thank you for that report. North College Hill Police say there's a public health issue here as well. That's why they want to identify and speak with the other girls recorded on Horton's phone.